blood like flash that's helping me. <laughs> <laughs> they can see you, Jeff. Yeah, they can see me. I ain't an invisible man. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Excited tonight. We ready to get this prayer, get these groceries. Got some powerful speakers tonight. I'm excited, but as I was saying, if you're interested in donating to the program, you can always um, just contact me directly, area code 863-888-0468. Reach me via email, R-I-S-K-C-L-U-B at Ymail.com. Also hit me up on Cash App, dollar sign, Team, capital T-E-E-N, capital K-I-N-G, or you can just write out a check to Risk Club, check or money order. So um, we're looking forward to your help. Um, we need a thousand people to give a hundred dollars so we can raise a hundred thousand dollars to make all of our programs free for our youth in the community. And we're not only here in Lakeland on the west side of Polk County, we're also on the east side of Polk County in Haines City as well. So we're just trying to provide awesome um, outreach for the young people and just help them be successful. Thank you. Um, we got our team kind of shooting around while we're getting ready for our meeting. We're registering, registering kids for team business camp. We also run a camp for the smaller kids, completed kindergarten through fifth grade. It's called Risk Kids Camp, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's $100 per week, all inclusive, includes all of their trips, all of their meals. We don't eat the government lunches. We either cook our own food or we buy the food. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited tonight. We have a, a guest speaker, Miss Dalmisha Fleming. She's from right here, the, the dirt right here in Lakeland, Washington Park, Dakota Project, Lake Ridge, all around. She's excited about giving back in her community. Ready to hear from her right now. Here she go. Hello, I'm Domisha Fleming. I am the founder of Angels of Destiny Incorporated, and I am actually also your master certified life coach. I am here tonight at the Dream Center with Risk Club, ready and excited to empower these youth on tonight. As Mr. Jeffrey said, I'm from right here in Lakeland. This is such a great opportunity to be able to come and just give back to our community. I'm excited about it. We are going to be going through smart goals on tonight. Get your youth involved. We're ready to empower them. I know that you are a founder of a nonprofit organization. How can the community get behind you and support your movement? You can actually find us on all your social media outlets, Angels of Destiny Incorporated. You can also contact me personally. My phone number is area code 321-304-0472. We're always looking for volunteers. We're always looking for the community to back us because we can definitely do it better together. I'm excited. We got one of the products of the program, one of the Winston Boys TBC Team Business Camp back in 2000, Lake Ridge Center. Special breed of young folks. Um, he's coming to represent. He's a, he's an entrepreneur doing big things in the trucking industry. Getting ready to buy him a brand new truck. I think he said a new one called about 170, 170 thousand, not dollars, 170 thousand dollars. Um, exciting young man, and I'm proud of him. Um, and he's doing well, taking care of him and his family. Um, he ready to spit like bullets, you know, represent to the fullest. Here we got Jimmy Borders coming to the stage. Hello, my name is Jimmy Borders, and I'm the owner of JMB Trucking Company of Florida. And right now, we um just now getting big. We're growing. I'm working on my third truck, and um, we're looking for more drivers. We're paying 1,500 a week, so it's 863-838-5921. So if you're interested, just give me a call. Well, that's for inspiration. I started as a young man. That's what I wanted to do when I was coming up. So when I turned 21, about 23, I got my license. I worked for everybody I wanted to. I got tired of it and just started on my own. How y'all doing today? Yeah. What's up? Y'all learned something last time? All right, all right. <laughs> you gonna get that money, right? <laughs> hey, we got these young people out here educating the other young folks. Um, we got um, school. Um, um, Jimmy Board is a product of a program. You got another young lady here. She's, she's right here from the city of Lakeland, eating the same dirt that they ate. But, but what we're trying to do is get programs are important. And what we have to do is we're trying to get a thousand people to give a hundred dollars in order to raise a hundred thousand dollars so that they can participate in all our programs for free. There's a lot of kids out there that can benefit from the programs that we provide with Risk Club, TBC, um, Risk Kids Camp, all of that. But we know people got the money. You just got to give it. So you can always reach me on, on Cash App, dollar sign, capital T-E-E-N, capital K-I-N-G. You can always reach me 
by phone 863-888-0468. We, we duplicating the same thing that we do on the west side of Polk County over on the east side in Haines City at the Oakland Neighborhood Center. Looking for something for your young people to do in, in Haines City, they need to be at the Oakland Neighborhood Center at six o'clock because a kid can't be what they don't see. And we need more and more programs and we need quality programs. So please get your teens involved in Haines City. So we're here in Lakeland on Tuesday nights at the Dream Center, six o'clock. We're in Haines City at Thursday at six o'clock at the Oakland Neighborhood Center. We have Team Business Camp, which is an eight week entrepreneurial program, which um, Jimmy Borders was a part of in 2000. So it's 2021. He had it made up in his mind. He wanted to be his own business because when you have your own, when, when you could either work for yourself or, or you could work for somebody else. So he, he's chose to work for himself because if you're not busy making your dream come true, you're busy making somebody else's. So with the eight week program, um, we do job skills, life skills, budgeting skills, college tours, business tours. We do the regular summer fun stuff. You're swimming, you're bowling, you're skating, your horseback riding is $400 for the su summer. You can sponsor a kid for $400. It's $400 for a teen to come for the summer, eight weeks, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. That's 55 hours per week. They're doing academic enrichment, a daily devotion each day, and it's cheaper than keeping them at home, eating up all your groceries and sucking up all your AC. All right, yeah, thank y'all for coming out. We salute y'all. Father, I'd like to thank you for everybody that's here today. We want you to continue to bless the Dream Center, all of its efforts, continue to bless Risk Club, um, all of its efforts, not only here in Lakeland at the Dream Center, but also in Haines City at the Oakland Neighborhood Center, Lord. We want you to just bless Team Business Camp as we go into the summer. Also bless Risk Kids Camp in the summer as well. Just continue to bless our cities, bless our nation, uh, bless those that are that are experiencing troubling times with family, um, loss of loved ones um, due to death, um, also those that are experiencing complications due to COVID, Lord, or heal our land. And bless all the food we're going to receive from this uh, body. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. We, we got, we got uh, um, everybody stand on up. My name is Jeffrey. Who I'm from? I'm from L-Town. Who I'm from? So where's this AP is audience participation. So that's the only AP some of y'all aspire to. AP today. So we're gonna speed it up for our accelerated listeners and learners. Here we go. My name is Jeffrey. No, gotta get out the self-contained to slow classes. We're accelerated right now. All right, so let's try that again. My name is Jeffrey. I'm from Alta. I came to show you. This is how we move up. Now first you roll it, roll it, and then you make it, make it, and then you rise it, rise it, and then you side side. Move side side. What? Move side side. Move side side. Don't sit down. Now, now, y'all, y'all can sit down. Yeah, yeah. Know y'all a little slow. Sit down. Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. When I need y'all to stand up, y'all ain't want to stand up. Now. We gotta go and get this guy fired up. We gonna, you know, we gonna. He kind of seem like you've been smelling that diesel a little too much. Decisions up with your destiny. 
So let her talk, give her a hand as she comes on up. Woohoo! She's a talker, so she's gonna talk a little bit. Good evening, y'all. Good evening. Good evening. I want y'all to loosen up a little bit. I'm gonna I'm Domisha. Um while they're passing out um the papers on what they're passing out is some papers about setting goals. So that's what we're gonna talk about on tonight. I want to first introduce myself as Mr. Jeffrey say, I'm Domisha Fleming. I'm from right here in Lakeland. I grew up in Lake Ridge, Washington Park, Dakota Projects. I am a product of this community and it feels good to just be able to come back and give back on this evening. Um, I see Miss Tony in the building and she probably didn't know I was gonna mention this, but I thank God for Miss Tony because she was one of the instructors for Girls East to make sure that I was not a part of my environment. So I thank you so much for that, Miss Tony. Um, clap it up, clap it up. Angels of Destiny Incorporated. We are a nonprofit organization who mentors young girls between the ages of 8 and 21. Our mission is to be a beacon of hope in the lives of young girls in our community. Um, I have faced several trials growing up as a young girl. I was a teenage mother, but however, I did not allow that to dictate who I stand before you as today. I am also a newly certified master life coach. I'm excited about it, and a part of my life coaching is goal setting. So I want to speak to you tonight about setting goals. Before I go any further, at the top of your paper, I want each of you to write down one goal that you have in mind. Just real quick, one goal. And we're going to deal with it. I'm a walker, so I, I'm going to walk. I can't be confined behind this holy line of walking top. So <laughs> just one goal. I just need one goal. And what we're going to do, I can you write that one goal down? We're going to go to that goal. We're going to go to that goal. We're going to break that goal down to make sure that it's a smart goal. So often we have goals in life, but we have to make sure that that goal is achievable. We want to make sure that it's something that we can really do that's within our reach at this moment. I'm just going to randomly call a couple of you to tell me what your goals is. So once everyone have their goal down on the paper, um, if you could just drop your pen and then I just want to hear what your goal is. And I want to encourage you on tonight. How can we make sure you achieve that goal? And while you're writing your goals, Mr. Jeff, I just want to say thank you. I wish something like this was available when I was growing up um, because it, your passion, what you do, this, you love it, the kids love you. And it's needed in our community. It is so needed. Thank you. So what we're going to start is taking right here, the young man with the um, rag on. What is your goal that you wrote down? To go to the NBA draft. Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your goal that you wrote down? Okay, and what is your what is your goal that you wrote down? To go to college to get a bachelor's degree to become a registered nurse. Okay, right. so Naima wants to be a registered nurse. Now, what I want to happen is the young lady right here, can you give Naima something to encourage her um, in regards to wanting to be a registered nurse? Good grades. There you go. Right, Good job. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. right here. My buddy right here wants to go to the NBA. What is something that he can do to make sure he makes it to the NBA? Uh, do work in school and get yeah. so Whatever it is that you want to do, even if you walk into a room and no one acknowledges you, you walk into that room, it's okay. You can make it never acknowledge you. They have a video of you. Mm -hmm. And they're going to remember you. And I always tell our youth to make sure you show up and prep for ready for the game. I don't care what the situation is, I'm gonna give y'all an example. I had no idea that cameras were gonna be flashing in today. <laughs> but when I got dressed to come over here, I made sure that I was prepped and ready for the game. That's right. Because I didn't know what was gonna take place when I got here. That's right. Um, so we talked about making sure our goals are specific. We made sure we talked about them being measurable. We made sure we talked about our goals being achievable. How about setting a realistic goal? Mm -hmm. Anybody have a goal on their paper that's not so realistic? I'm gonna say a realistic, uh, unrealistic goal right now for me would be to say that I'm gonna be a trillionaire by next week. <laughs> Unless somebody that's on this camera, <laughs> God dropping their spirit to bless me. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I, I do, I, I'm not lined up right now to be a trillionaire by next week. So we have to make sure that we're setting realistic goals as well. Mm -hmm. Whatever your goal is, make sure that it's realistic. That it's something that you know can come to pass. Um, also, set a time 
frame for your goal. Because if you don't have a time frame, you just out there working, you just out there working, but you're not seeing no results from it. What are the results that you're seeing from it? Always say, you know, have a 30 day goal, a 60 day goal, and even in that 30 day goal, I go back and I break that goal down. I want, I need results. I need to see what, what it is in my workout. How do I achieve it? I'm going on five years and um, being the founder of a nonprofit organization. I didn't realize that until two years ago that I was growing. Because I was just going, 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 going. But I must have a time frame to say that in my fifth year, this is what I want to do. So that is something that I am learning right now. On the papers that you have there in front of you, there's a couple questions that it asks you. Y'all don't have to do it tonight unless you just absolutely want to start it. But I want you to think about your goals that you have for yourself. Nothing is too hard for God. Let's just Amen. start with that. No goal is too small, no goal is too big. But make sure you're setting it smart. That's one thing I want to encourage you. Make sure your goal that you set out for yourself is smart. Meaning when I say smart, specific, measurable, achievable. Realistic and make sure you have a time frame for your smart goal. That's good. And I'm telling you, that, that would take you so far because, and write it down. I'm a journalist. I like to jump. Write your goals down. If you have a goal, don't let nobody tell you that you cannot achieve your goal. Nobody. As long as your goal is a smart goal, it's achievable. So I want to encourage y'all on tonight to make sure when you're thinking about the different goals that you have for your life, make sure that it is a smart goal. Make sure that it is something that you know you can achieve. You have a question, love? Oh, okay. <laughs> so does anybody have any questions? I, as Mr. Jeffrey told y'all, I can talk and I can go and I can go. Yes, ma'am. Um, I love the acronym. That's so good. And it's so true. And it's, I love how it played out to, to spell mm-hmm. smart. When you're doing your coaching, do you do goal setting in different areas of the person's life, like social goals, work goals, relationship goals, or, you know, it, do you think it should be like, we should all have well-rounded goals in our life, or do you pick one specific one? It's, um, there's a goal for every area in your life. Absolutely. So if you come in here and say that I have a financial goal that I need for you to work with me on, the first thing I'm going to ask you is get a smart financial goal. Mm-hmm. And we're going to go through it, we're going to work through it, we're going to break that thing down, and I might tell you, we're going to start with, because you may say, well, in one year, I want to be in my own building selling my uh, selling my items, and I want to employ 10 employees. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you, yes, that is achievable, but what I will not do is tell you a false dream, because what we need to do is break that goal down to figure out how do we get to employing 10 employees. Yeah. So we may have to start with 30 days, mm-hmm. and I may have to, I, we may have to break it down, and I say, well, in 30 days, I need you to do X, Y, and Z. If you can't complete them three things that I tell you in 30 days, there's no way you can go to 365 days. That's right. So that. it's just a matter of making sure that, again, it's a smart goal, mm-hmm. and making sure that it's something that is really achievable. Anyone else have any questions for me? Yes, ma'am. Um, what's your occupation title and how did you get started? And what made you get started? Whatever. Well, my occupation title is I actually still work full time. I work um, for public corporate office over in Lakeland. I am an environmental sustainability specialist. So I do a lot with the environment and making sure that public is sustainable. So that's what I do. But in my personal time, again, I am the founder of an organization for young girls. I started that organization because I faced a lot of childhood challenges, and a promise that I made to God is that if he delivered me out of what I was going through, I would always go back and extend my hand to make sure that the young girl had to experience that. So that's what we do within our organization. We give back to our community. Um, it's just, I just, I'm a server. I like to give back, and that's just the heart. Just to put it in a synopsis overall, that's what we do within our organization. My life coaching business, this is something that I'm just now starting now. I'm, a very fresh newly life coach. I'm excited about it. I'm gonna say I'm a newly certified life coach right. because I've been doing this for many years. Yes. But now I am certified. So when you come to me and say I need a life coach, I have the credentials to back it up to attach with the finances that I'm going to be charging you to do it. So. Clap it up, y'all! Clap it up for that. Yes. Yes. I actually am interested in being a life coach okay. um, and everything. So what exactly did you have to do as far as your credentials and how long did it take for you to do everything? Good question. That, good that's question. a really good question. I can tell you I have been a life coach for about seven years now. And I felt the kid once in a while um, in regards to how to start. Um, I found a, um, a whole line in the academy that 
at Karate, it is a self paced academy, it's up to you. I'm a very determined person, so it only took me like three months to get it done, and I had to complete five different courses. Okay. It depends on what type of life coach you want to be. Um, within my Master Life Coach certification, I'm a happiness life coach, I'm a life purpose life coach, I am a goal setting life coach, and I am also a professional life coach. So it's up to you with what type of life coach you want to be. You don't have to become a Master Life Coach. You may just say, I want to be a professional life coach, and you can stop right there. That course alone, I believe it's about 10 hours for the entire course. Once you complete the course, you receive your certification and you're a certified life coach. Yeah. No, I do not mind you asking. I'm glad you asked. Good question. I can tell you um, for myself, people were telling me thousands of dollars, <laughs> but because of the favor and the grace on my mm -hmm. life, I didn't even pay $100 oh, wow. for my entire oh, life wow. coaching. Um, <laughs> No, no, that's okay. Uh, I, I would be more than happy to give you the information uh, for the program that I went There you through. go. Very self paced program. Um, it is a third party from the university, but they did cut the cost down a lot. However, um, everything is certified and they are accredited. So if you decide that you want to do something additional in the college realm, they are accredited and those um, credits will follow you over. Okay. So I'll definitely make sure before we leave tonight I get you that information. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Imani. You want to be a real estate agent? That's so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Say it loud what you want to be. Tell them loud. Yes. Yeah, All right. Okay. <laughs> yes. I can see y'all walking on the house and turning around with that ignition check, right? Now. That's right. Set your nose right around. Make it plain. Use that paper right there to set out how you want to become a real estate agent. Yes, sir. So first, when I like sell like a couple of houses, like have a couple of like dollars, like I need to sell the houses. I'm gonna get like things and stuff and give it to like africa go to africa and help them out that's all awesome. right so you want to give back as well it's something that you said that stuck out to me that i want to i want to i want to kind of correct you on we don't want to use couple i want you to expand your imagination when you make that first hundred thousand dollars this is what you're going to do for africa you know words have power words have power and i'm very big on affirmation so what you begin to speak into the atmosphere that's what's going to begin to manifest Cause you said a couple of dollars, you might go out there and make a couple of dollars on your first house, yeah. but that's what you spoke into the atmosphere. So we're gonna speak a hundred thousand dollars on your first house. Talk to them. You're gonna be able to go ahead and sow into Africa or whatever you want to do. So I want y'all to remember that whatever you speak out of your mouth or whatever you put out here in the atmosphere, that's what's gonna manifest. Amen. I'm believing that I'm gonna be a millionaire, I, and I, I show up prepped and ready for the game because there might be a millionaire in the room that's waiting to help you become a millionaire. You better talk it. That's something else I'm gonna <laughs> Actresses, superstars, entertainers. What's your clientele, and how did you get their business? So right now, my clientele, I am partnered with Oakland Public School. I do serve two middle schools, one elementary school right now. My vision is to definitely become a traveling life coach on a global level. I want I would like to serve clients on a global level. So right now, I'm working on my marketing for my life coaching business, so that once I begin to present myself, to the people they'll know who I am.
and you collected a check for your services. Well, the biggest opportunity that I've had, I traveled to Atlanta, Georgia, um, back in September during COVID, and I had the opportunity to speak in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, but what I am learning is to attach a price to my services that I'm delivering. That's because right. for many years, I would just go out and volunteer because in my mind, I was just giving back. I just wanted to give back and help and help and help. But I was burning myself out in the process. And I can never leave the company that I work for if I continue to just give back. So I am believing, God, that um, I will be receiving an assignment that's going to help me leave that corporate job that I'm working on. Speak the numbers. You told him. That's it. I'm going to speak the numbers. I'm going to speak that one million. I'm going to speak that one million. There you go. I got a question for you. Yes, sir. Also, I noticed uh, when we were outside and you were talking about your business, you're full with passion. Uh, you're doing things like you're over here with the Risk Club right now. You're giving back right now. And sometimes um, a lot of people are like to attach a monetary gain to it. But this right here is priceless. And we got my brother Jeff here. And to have you here speaking to the youth and breathing life, I think that's better than even getting a price tag on it. So like the young lady here, she's very inspired. She's 25 years old. She's up and ready to want to meet with you after this. And that's what it's all about as far as you're building your business up one step at a time. You're getting broadcast. 5,000 people or more looking at you through my Facebook um, platform. It's going to tag to you and Jeff. And I just salute you, sister, and keep doing your thing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Talk to him, Jeff. All right, all right, excuse me, we're, we're ready. Right, we had a, another phenomenal night, um, incredible speakers. Um, if you're not here at the Risk Club, the Risk Club is free for middle and high school students, so we get millions of dollars worth of knowledge here. Um, it doesn't cost you anything, exposure is everything. So connect your young people um, with the Risk Club, also, we still need a thousand people to give a hundred dollars. We're trying to raise a hundred thousand dollars. And as you heard these young people say, it's people that took time with them. They were rough around the edges. Like I tell people, it's off the countertop, wrapped them through the wall. We had a fan in the window. I'm, I'm knocking the dirt from on my feet to get in the bed at night. So, because it's a rough night, we got that dirt in the bed with the program. So, every program out there is not positive. So, support. Um, that, that that we have here with the Risk Club, with Team Business Camp, Risk Kids Camp. If I get out there and I do it for free, um, but God bless me. But we need some resources to, to include more students in any educational pro, um, um, program. So we need your support. We need a thousand people to give a hundred dollars. That's going to help us raise a hundred thousand dollars. Um, God told me to open my mouth. I said, I don't feel like bothering folks because I don't like people like that. I don't like to be like, sound like I'm begging, but I'm just asking. So in order to, the GET, the G -E -T, you have the ASK. So all I'm doing is asking, you can hit me up um, on, on social media, um, Risk Club. Um, you can also cash at me, dollar sign, capital T-E-E-N, capital K-I-N-G. You can also write a check or money order out to Risk Club. So um, we need your help, people. Thank you. God bless. Good night. Yeah.
like to thank all our speakers, Greg Rapper, Photo Man, Tyson. Talk to them, man. How can they reach you? Thank you, everybody. Just be kind. Listen up. Hope you're brave. Thank you. Slash Barnum. Report cards come out tomorrow. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
it was kind of like in the midst of that, but I kept on pushing. Nothing is easy. It's still hard to this day, but you got to keep on pushing. Like, because if a truck break down, I have to go fix it. You know, it'd be like, I want to give up. Now we're going to fix it and keep it rolling. So at that point, I just keep on pushing. I ain't never give up. And it came too far. What, what are some of the things that you learned, like with Team Business Camp, that helped set you up for success? Even though you had your, your goals and dreams and aspirations already in your mind, how did the program help you if it did in any way? Well, in the program, I seen stuff that I never seen before. Like we went to a lot of black colleges. I never have done that. You know, I learned a lot about about my community, especially where I come from. You know, I'm from I'm a project baby. You know, but the people I stay with, they ain't stay in the project. So you know, coming to TBC, that was different from me. You know, what I'm saying I never had that type of environment. I learned a lot. You know, what I'm saying it was unity, all this and that. So it was a lot that I learned from TBC. Anybody else have, have questions? What kind of funds do you have to have to start a type of business like how you started? When you start working, like I started working at Taco Bell, I was always a saver. So you better start saving your money early and just work hard for it. You got to work hard for what you want. Nothing like comes to you easy. Now, is it a special insurance you have? So like say somebody's out and they got a load and boom, the whole load is damaged. Is it certain limits on like your, your insurance that you have to have? Do you have to have like a $10 million policy? What what kind of liabilities would you have to run as far as insuring your truck and all of that? Well, when you have your insurance, the company already, well, any trucking company, you have a million dollar policy, insurance policy. So if you know you get any type of accident, anything like that, it'll be covered. As far as your load, like the load damage, Whoever company I'm pulling for, or you know, whoever, if it's my fault, then the company will cover it, or if it's the other people's fault, the insurance cover it. That's how it goes. What type of truck do you drive? What's the name? The name of the Volvo. I drive. I like Volvo. It's got Freightliners, Peterbilt, all that, but I prefer Volvo. So. Now, is it like a dress code? Would you be your own boss? Is it a dress code, or can you just wear whatever you want, feel comfortable at wearing? On the road, you be you. you. If you, if you wanna, if you wanna wear boxes in the shirt and some slides and represent where you're from, you can drive just like that and get the job done. That's all I ask for your time. You know, yeah, I have no problem with that. You, be you, you know. Get right. <laughs> all right, I got a question. So let's just say, what's your name, man? Corey. All right, just say Corey is driving one of your trucks. All right, he don't have the money for the gas. Who's gonna pay for the gas? Who's gonna pay for all the upkeep and all of that? I cover all the gas, you know, the tolls, you have to pay because you're on the contract. So you got a navigation where you can avoid the tolls and stuff like that. I cover the gas. And if it break now, I cover the maintenance, all this and that. So the rest is on you, man, your food and stuff like that. Uh, so how do you go about finding your clientele? Well, I have a, I pay a broker company that finds my load. So anytime I'm done with one load, I, you know, I let them know I'm arrived, delivered, load finished. I get to the nearest truck stop, wait till they send me the next load, and they'll send it to me within an hour. So, how, how long do you drive on the road? How long are you allowed to drive a day? In a day, you can work, you can um, drive up to 11 hours a day. You know, but I prefer my job to be like 10 to break it down. That way, they won't be involved in violation. You know, they won't be involved in violation. You know, and they have to do a 30-minute break. You got up to 8 hours of driving. You know, that's what I mean. You know, and they have to do a 30-minute break. You got up to 8 hours to do a 30-minute break. That's mandatory. So within that, they gotta take their breaks. So I prefer them to dry ten, so they won't be so dry. Because the, the road can be dangerous. And you, you know, you gotta watch out for people. So where do you drive to? Like, say if you're in Florida, what state do you drive to? I drive southeast and midwest. I don't go past Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania. Okay. I'm, I'm, so if I wanted to walk out of here right now today and drive trucks, do I need any schooling? Do I need any prior training? Or can I just go get a CDL and hop in a truck and get on the road? I have to go to trucking school. You know, so, I mean, they have programs like at Folk Works. That's what I went through, you know, and they got me on that NBI trucking school. I graduated and I ain't looked back. Therefore, I just kept, I kept it moving, so that was my, that was my These young people, they money met, motivated. They know Greg Rad, he making about 800000 a year, flipping houses, building houses, and, you know, rehab and all of that. What is your potential, like, each year, like, per truck? Like, you know, how much can each truck generate per year? So I know you're trying to go to your third truck, so we, we know you're trying to triple that. So what can one truck generate in a year? I mean, it's up to you. I mean, just one truck. 
I'm gonna put it like this, and y'all do the math, because this is my first year, so I ain't really got that yes, sir. full advantage yet. But I, I can tell you, within since January, I done made 120 with two trucks. There you go. Give him a round of applause, y'all. Round it up. Yeah. You can make up 13, 13 a week. That's why I have my drivers for me. Mr. Jeff only needs 100, 1,000 people to get $100, that's it. That's I think I might get me some trucks. Work smart, <laughs> smart. Yeah, good job, homeboy. Yeah, yeah.